kids, I thought today we could make um, an ingredient of something that we can play with outside. I know the nice weather's coming and the sun's coming, and maybe you've already been doing some of this is drawing on this, the driveway with some sidewalk chalk, but maybe you run out. So I thought today we'd make some homemade um, sidewalk chalk. So the first thing you need is one and a half cups of cornstarch. I'm gonna put this in our bowl. Nice and easy or else the flour or the powder will go all over. You gotta do it nice and easy. Or if you have a bigger bowl, you can put it in there. Unless somebody wants to use a smaller bowl. So we have one and a half cups of cornstarch. There we go. And one and a half cups of water. So we're gonna mix this together. Nice and easy. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in these cups that I have in front of me, and we're gonna add some um, food coloring, and we can make different colors. And then we're gonna let it dry. And once it's dry, we should be able to pop it out of the cups and use it for sidewalk chalk, which Miss Wendy is also going to add in this video um, some fun things we can do outside with the sidewalk chalk. I know we all like to draw, but we're also going to do some other fun activities, but we got to make it first and then we got to let it dry. So we'll see how that turns out. All right, so it's kind of gooey. Let me add a little bit more water. Stir it up. Hopefully I can get it in the cups. We'll see. Alright. This Wendy's going to give this a good stir. Now that I have it all mixed up, it's all like kind of watery. Alright. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pour it into our cups. I have some extra cups just in case I need more. I'm going to pour it into here. Try and make some different colors. And then we can always mix colors with our um, food coloring to make the other colors um, like crayons. I have some extra, so I'm gonna get some more cups and put them in here so I can make some different colors. And then you're just gonna use some food coloring to um, add in there and stir it up and then we're going to let it dry and then we can once it's dry we can then pop it out and then use it for our palette or our chalk so i think this one here is pink i'm just gonna oops give it a squeeze because this is like gel food coloring Let's give it a squeeze, give it a roll. Just put some squeezes in there. Squeeze it in there. Just giving it a good squeeze because I've never used the gel food coloring, so we'll see how it turns out. Hmm, almost looks like strawberry milk. And if you want your um, sidewalk chalk to be darker, Obviously, we're going to add more. So I want mine a little darker, so I'm going to make it a little, squeeze a little bit more in there. All right. All right, got some pink going on. You want to try and mix it in as well as you can so it doesn't leave any of the gel in there. Well, I have gel. If you're using food color, it'll be fine. All right, we've got some purple going on. Let's get some purple. And if you guys remember, do you remember how to make purple? Right? It's red and blue. All right, let's give this one a squeeze. I think I'm going to use up the rest of this one. All right. That one's all done. Let's give it a stir. And if I don't think it's dark enough, I may get my regular food coloring and add some more to it to make it a little darker. Because you know how when you draw on the sidewalk, 
it kind of doesn't come out real dark unless the crayon is dark. I mean, the chalk is dark. So it may not be dark enough for me. I may have to go back and add some other colors to it. But we will see. Now I have orange. Do you guys, do you guys remember how to make orange? Orange, we combine red and yellow. Red and yellow make orange. This one is going to get us a nice good squeeze. I think I'm just going to use them all up. Give them a nice stir. I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. It'll be fun if it turns out because then I can go outside and draw on my sidewalk and do some fun activities with you. Here we have pink, orange, blue, red. I added blue and red, so we're going to get to see what that makes. You ready? Blue and red. Mm, looks like it needs more red because it's still blue. So add a little bit more red. Let's see if we can get purple. Mm, looks kind of purple. It's kind of hard to tell in the cup, but maybe we'll get to see when we start drawing with it. Maybe it's a nice dark purple. I don't know looks like it and then we also have yellow and blue like I said yellow and blue make green let's see if we did a good job and make green yeah see there's the green and what we'll do to this one since this one was supposed to be the purple what we'll do is we'll add a little bit more red and a little bit more blue and see if we can make a light purple and see how that turns out all right let me wipe off my speak all right let's see what we get oh well we're getting a light blue oh, I see some purple coming on there we go we have another shade of purple Maybe if we put a little bit more red in it, it'll turn a darker, a different color. Let's see. All right. There we go. Sort of like a brown, I guess. See, it's sort of like a lighter purple. Now all we have to do is let this dry. And then we'll be able to take it out of the cups and turn it into our sidewalk chalk. And then we'll get to use it outside on this beautiful sunny day. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to dry, but we'll have to wait and see. And then I'll let you know about how long it took to dry. And these are about three ounce cups. You can also use your muffin tin to put it in and then pop it out of there and use it to draw. But I thought this would make a nice big sidewalk chalk so we can hold it easier. So only time will tell. We'll have to wait for it to dry and see how it turns out. Miss Wendy's sidewalk chalk project has finally finished drying so now we're going to do an activity with it so as you can see we have six different letters g r l f d and s and miss wendy went around her yard to find things that start with that letter i'll show you what i have for the letter f i have a flower and for d i have a clump of dirt for the letter G, I have a little bit of grass. For the letter R, I have little rocks. For the letter L, I have leaf. For the letter S, I have straw. So I hope you enjoyed our letter activity with our sidewalk chalk. The sidewalk chalk didn't turn out, out as well as I had hoped, but um, you can always find another recipe that works better and try it for yourself outside. Hope can't wait to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.